Sagittarius, hi. This is the Empress. I'm happy to be here with you guys today. All right, so we need to take a look into January, guys. There's a whole fresh new year coming in, and I want to take a look into 2020 with you, okay? All right, so before we get started, guys, I just want to do like a few you know, get some channel energy and see what messages come directly through, all right? I'm picking up that things, there may be communication coming in for you guys, okay? Or things are coming in quick, okay? There's something coming towards you quick, okay? Some type of recognition and reward or something that you've been working towards. For a lot of you guys, this could be communication back from a job if you guys have been waiting look we got sacrifice and this is things being in the air okay so some of you guys have been waiting for um calls from your job or a job okay there's a decision that you need to make as well too okay on whether or not to close a chapter okay something you some of you guys have been going through it okay could be financial could be whatever the obstacles are some of you guys are you know trying to come out of a bad situation yeah we got moving on some of you guys are trying to come out of a bad situation okay i feel like you guys are trying to come out of a, a hardship some of you guys are waiting for communication back from a job um okay well we got some cards that's wanting to jump out let's see look the same card recognition and reward and then we have spiritual union so for some of you guys, someone wants to work on their relationship, their bond, their connection that they have with someone, okay? Someone knows that they have to prove prove something to, to, to the other person, okay? Give me one more card here. Someone wants to work on their relationship. Someone wants to work on their connection or work on their bond that they have with someone, okay? You can feel like this person is... If y'all hear some noises, guys, I live next to where they shoot fireworks, okay? <laughs> All right, so a lot of you guys are working, wanting to work on a relationship, okay? Solitude. Could be dealing with a Virgo, okay? But some of you guys may have been alone, okay? Or felt alone or needed to do some soul-searching in order to get to this place of wanting to work this out or trying to figure out how to work this out, okay? Okay. Let's get a read. Let's see what's going on. What message do you have for Sagittarius, please? Message is there for Sagittarius, okay. We got the devil. A lot of you guys could be dealing with the Capricorn, okay? But this is kind of like a negative card. It, it can be a negative card, okay? This is things that we're bound to. This is addictions. This is codependency. This is obsession. This is possessiveness. But, you know, we got the lover's card up under there, okay? So this could be like a toxic thing here, okay? There could possibly be a decision between two people as well. But with the lover's card, this is the card for Gemini. But I'm picking up there's a strong attraction here. We got the strength card. Could be a Leo involved. But I'm just picking up like a strong connection that you have with someone or someone has with you. Okay. And what is the challenge here? Or this is just someone that's just negative love. You feel like someone likes being negative. And then it came right back out again. Okay. All right. I, I mean, I, when I see the devil and the leopard's card together, I just think of like, you know, someone that's very possessive, obsessive, okay, type of energy. Just being honest. <laughs> We got someone that is feeling trapped here. Okay, someone feels stuck. Someone feels afraid, trapped. Okay. What else is going on, Sagittarius? What y'all got going on? What else is here? Ooh. 
Sagittarius. Five of Cups. Someone's having regrets. Okay. Wish that they could change some things. Okay. Change the way that they communicate. Change something that they said. But someone here is having regrets. Why is there regrets here? Someone's regretting getting so attached. And that's what I'm feeling like. Someone's like regretting being so attached or allowing someone to get so attached. Why is the Five of Cups here? Someone regrets moving too fast. Someone feels like they move too fast. Or someone is being too irrational. Okay. Knight of Wands and Ace of Swords. Okay. Let's see. Someone keeps going back to their past. I see that too. Why is the past energy? What's the past energy here for Sagittarius? Nine of Cups. A wish fulfillment. A desire. All right, Emperor, Aries' is energy. Is there Aries involved? Okay. But I feel like someone's feeling like, you know, they don't have control over the situation. They want control over the situation. But it's like, I can't control them. <laughs> I can't control what they do. I can't control what they say. I can't control how they respond. But someone here is really, really attached, okay? Either you guys are really, really attached or you guys have someone really, really attached to you. All right, so let's see what's, what's crowning this situation. Seven of Pentacles. All right, so this is about being patient, okay? It's about being patient and someone, I feel like you guys want to kind of like slow things down a little bit. I feel like you guys want to slow things down a little bit. Um, there could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio involved. We got Scorpio's energy here. But I feel like you guys want to slow things down a little bit. And future energy. Let's see. What's the future energy? And we got you guys worried a little bit, stressing a little bit, not able to sleep. Okay. Maybe there's lots of confusion or there's something, a chapter that you need to close. Okay. There's a chapter that you need to close and you're kind of, you know, worried about it. Why is the Nine of Swords here? I'm getting like a crazy ex. This is, just, this is like the energy that I'm getting. It's like a crazy ex. Oh, Ten of Pentacles. So is there worries about finances or marriage or family? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? It's a one. Some of you are getting ready to start a new job. We got the five of pentacles. Some of you guys are, you know, worried about money. Okay. And some of you are getting ready to start a new job. Ace of wands. Why is the ace of wands here? Ten of wands. Okay. All right. In order to start something new, some of you guys are feeling like you got to drop something. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Four of Cups, okay. Someone here is putting this second chance or reviving a situation on hold, okay. Possibly because there is like a family involved, someone's with someone long term, or there's a marriage involved. But someone keeps, you know, is juggling. Someone is juggling two of pentacles and a king of wands. King of wands is you guys' energy. Two of pentacles is, you know, someone juggling, doing multiple things, got a lot going on. Okay? I want to see why the devil card is here because for some reason I'm getting like stalker X or crazy X. Why is the devil card here? All right, Six of Swords. Someone is fine to see if someone is moving on. Has someone moved on? Definitely watching on the internet. Okay? Social media, whatever form of spying. Even getting tarot reads, you know, or watching tarot videos. That's fine as well. But someone is most definitely spying. This is most definitely 
internet. Okay. I don't know if it's you guys or <laughs> or their energy, but somebody is most definitely spying. You got someone that is watching you like a hawk, okay? Why is the lover's card here? This person like loves you. This person is mm -hmm, full card. Could be uh, Aries or Sagittarius or Gemini or Virgo. But someone is like, you know, they love you. They love you or you love them. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Ooh, Three of Pentacles. They're waiting or you're waiting to see if they're going to try to work things out or, you know, trying to see how they're going to, you know, come towards you. Wanting to cooperate. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Magician. Okay. Communication. I see communication just came in. Possibly from a Cancer or a Pisces. But nonetheless, like a mystery woman. Okay, tell me somebody's watching you. Somebody's fine. Somebody's most definitely fine. Y'all got somebody watching you now. They watching your Facebook. They watching you. Oh, okay. <laughs> we have <laughs> stay strong in your faith. A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. All right, so you got to keep your thoughts positive, Sagittarius. Self-confidence through God, confidence. Believe in yourself by believing in God working through you. Okay, that's dope and so deep. Okay, that's very, very deep. I most definitely, that's deep, okay? Have self-confidence and most definitely stay strong in your faith, okay? Until next time, my loves. Ciao for now.